hello my friends welcome to this video today i have a great opportunity for you and if you are from india namaste i have even greater news for you so just sit back and make sure that you watch this video until the very end let's go welcome back guys so the great news is that germany has just eased its visa rules for 25 in demand professions and now you can be able to secure yourself a work visa within two weeks instead of the usual nine months and if you're from india you can actually be able to do this easily because of a change that germany has just made but don't take my word for it let's dive into my computer and we'll take a look at it together so as you can see on your screen the heading here clearly states germany eases visa rules 25 in demand professions to secure a work visa and right here they give a brief introduction that i want us to go through quickly then i show you the other details so here they say germany's labor shortage across various sectors creates promising prospects for skilled foreign workers from healthcare to engineering discover in demand jobs eased visa regulations and germany's new opportunity card designed to attract international talent so that's what we are looking at today and they add here germany a european economic powerhouse is grappling with a significant labor shortage across various sectors a recent report from european labor authority has highlighted a shortfall of workers in over 70 occupations presenting a unique opportunity for skilled key professionals worldwide and here they go ahead and mention a few of the professionals that they are looking for but we are going to come to the details of it shortly because here you can just see healthcare engineering but then we can't tell which kind of healthcare workers or engineering or it workers are they looking at but in this video i'm going to show you exactly which kind of workers they are looking for but before that we also want to confirm that are they actually looking for 400,000 workers and right here you can see germany needs 400,000 workers Germany's economy faces an estimated demand for up to 400,000 new skilled foreign workers. Yes, this demand is particularly pronounced in healthcare and technology sectors where the need for skilled professionals is vital to maintaining economic stability and growth. So there you have it, 400,000 workers, guys. So right now, let's look at which occupations are they exactly looking for. But before we get into that, if you are finding this video useful at all, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome to the home of opportunity. Please join us by just hitting that subscribe button and make sure that you turn on that notification bell so that the next time I post a new opportunity, you'll be among the very first ones to be alerted when it is out so that you don't see it late. So let's continue. So here you have sectors and occupations in demand and this is just a brief introduction but the actual ones are here so the very first one is transportation and machinery and among these we have drivers for heavy trucks lorries buses trams and locomotives we also have railway operators for brakes signal and switch operators then we have machine operators for paper, rubber, plastic, metal, chemical, and mineral industries. Then we also have those from the skilled trades, which include cabinet makers and related workers, food preparers, that is bakers, pastry cooks, butchers, fishmongers. Then we have electronic mechanics, electricians, plumbers, and fitters. Construction. Under this, we have construction supervisors, spray painters and varnishers, bricklayers and related workers, forestry workers and associated occupations, firefighters and others. Under administrative and clerical roles, we have clerks, which include personnel, transport, accounting and bookkeeping. Then healthcare, probably one of the most popular ones. Here we have dental assistants and therapists, nursing associate professionals, medical technicians, and physiotherapists. 
Of course, those are not the only ones, but these are the most in demand right now. So we also have engineering and technology. And under this, we have engineering technicians for electronics, electrical and civil engineering. Then we have applications, programmers, software developers, system analysts. Actually, this category of workers are in demand everywhere, whether it is the UK, Germany, US, Canada, Australia, anywhere you look, you'll always find that they are in demand. And actually, if you have interest in any of those kinds of roles, you can actually start to upgrade your skills or shift your skills or learn something that can enable you to do these kinds of work because these guys are always on demand. I would even think that they may be in more demand than the medics. But that is just my guess. Let's continue. Under education and social services, we also have early childhood educators. These are also always in demand. Primary school teachers, audiologists, and speech therapists. So those are just a few of the many. And now that we have looked at the occupations in need, so what are the exact changes in visa rules that we talked about earlier? Let's take a look at them briefly. So here you have it. Germany's new laws for skilled workers. In response to its labor shortage, Germany has introduced significant changes to its immigration rules to attract foreign professionals. Okay. While EU or EEA citizens and nationals from countries like Australia, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, and the US do not require work visa, Individuals from other countries like India must secure a visa and resident permit to work in Germany. But that is not an issue as we are going to see shortly. So here are the changes. Under Germany's recent immigration reforms, number one, experience-based visa eligibility. So now, skilled foreign professionals with at least two years of experience and recognized professional or university degree from their home country are eligible to apply. I think that is pretty clear, right? If you have a degree or you have a two-year experience from your home country, you are eligible to apply to work in Germany. Then they also have this family reunification facilitation. The policy includes provisions that simplify family reunification enhancing the appeal for skilled workers moving with dependents. So that is a big question that people always ask, not just on this channel, but for every opportunity that there is, they always ask, can I move with my dependents? Yes, in Germany, you can go to work and move with your dependents. Great, right? Yes. Then here you have EU blue card eligibility. Germany has also eased requirements for the EU blue card, which now includes additional options for skilled workers to access the German labor market, which is also good. Something else that they also have is what they call the Germany Opportunity Card. So let's also look at this briefly. Opportunity Card, a new path for job seekers. So under this, you can see Germany's Innovative Opportunity Card or Chanska. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing this correctly allows non-EU nationals to enter Germany to explore job opportunities without needing a confirmed employment contract. Introduced in June, the Opportunity Card gives holders up to one year to find suitable work in Germany, significantly reducing barriers to entry. So if you get one of these cards, it means that you can go to Germany without a job offer. And you can stay there for one full year and within that year, you are expected to find employment. Obviously, it is easier to find employment when you are already within the country than when you are outside, right? Yes. So I think it makes sense. If you are interested in finding more about the card, you can actually come and click here and then you come here and read about it. As you can see here, Germany launches opportunity card to attract skilled workers in key sectors. And this is actually a new innovation because they started it in June 2024. As they have explained here, as of now, nearly 2,500 opportunity cards have been granted, with Indian nationals receiving the majority, followed by applicants from China, Turkey, and Pakistan. 
and that is actually why i like my viewers from india pakistan and asian countries they are very very proactive you guys take opportunities seriously so another change they have made in relation to work visa is to increase the work visa quota in response to its skilled worker shortage germany has significantly increased its annual work visa quota for india professionals to 90,000, and that's not even all let's read further this new policy aims to streamline the visa process through digitalized applications speeding up the approvals and strengthening economic ties between germany and india and he goes ahead to say in a significant development germany has officially announced its decision to increase the annual work visas quota for skilled Indian professionals to 90,000, a considerable rise from the previous cap of 20,000. You see? And that's not all. There's another final bit. So here they explain why they increased, but this is the other part that I wanted to share with you guys. In addition to expanding the work visa quota, Germany has committed to making the visa application process smoother and faster through digitalization and other friendly upgrades. Which are those friendly upgrades? Let's see. So here is the upgrade we are talking about. Germany has taken a major step towards addressing its labor shortage by significantly reducing visa processing times for Indian skilled workers in a move that aims to boost the influx of talent. The German government has shortened the waiting period for long-term visas from a daunting nine months to just two weeks. And how have they done that? The German foreign minister confirmed this development, highlighting the government's focus on reducing visa wait times for approximately 400,000 applicants facing delays. The prime minister emphasized that this effort is part of a larger strategy to attract foreign talent to fill critical labor gaps. They explain here further. Here they explain how many visas they have issued and how did they do that? By establishing a special visa office in India. Yes, and here it is. She also noted that the Federal Agency for Foreign Affairs now operates the largest visa office for national visas globally. And right here, they explain how many visas they have issued and how it is impacting them positively and so forth and so forth. So guys, if you are in India, going to Germany has never been easier than now. I hope that you guys are going to take advantage of those changes and get those German jobs. And with that, I would like to say thank you for watching. See you in the next one.